My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted to the earthy smell. I was just out walking one day. I had no intention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. I'm very worried about Teresa. When your body can't handle what you're putting inside of it, it's going to rebel against you. Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth and and get the earthy taste off of it. I will eat them in front of anybody. I'm not ashamed of it, so it doesn't really bother me. I eat it at home, of course, watching TV, movies, in my bedroom, driving down the road. I do eat more rocks when I'm nervous or upset. It does like bring me down and makes me feel more calm. When my mom eats rocks, it's kind of like she goes to La La Land. She doesn't seem to be paying attention to anything going on around her. Teresa even drives up to an hour away to reach the rocks that make her mouth water. Um, this is one of my places that I come to get the rocks. I like it because it's actually in the dirt banks and it's really good pieces for crushing up and eating. Other people have told me to worry about animals using the bathroom and things like that, or oil leaks, or anything that might get on the rocks, but I don't care to wash them. Teresa's addiction to eating rocks hasn't come without a price. I've had a tooth break before from eating rocks. I have a few choking experiences while driving the car. Actually, pieces lodged in my throat, and it scared me. I've had a lot of stomach pain. I've had blood in my stools and trouble with going to the bathroom. I've told my mom many times what could happen to her. She's taken it pretty lightly, I think. He actually aggravates me. Anytime he finds my rocks, he throws them away. Don't throw them away, please. I think it's gonna take all of us, her friends, her family, everyone to say, you need to put these away. I'm not ready to stop and I don't think there's anything that would make me stop. 44-year-old Teresa has been eating rocks for the past 21 years. She consumes at least three rocks a day, gathering them from the side of the road. Teresa's best friend of 12 years, Joni, fears Teresa's addiction could harm her. I'm really, really concerned, and I think she needs to hear it from someone that is just gonna be brutally honest with her. What if this could cause such severe damage that, you know, she dies from it? Do you want one? No, thanks. Ugh, that noise drives me nuts. The sound of me crunching on these rocks is like somebody else crunching on hard candy, and I think that I really need these. It's like protein to me. So is that how you think of it, that it's medicine for you? Why do you think I keep them in a beer bottle? Just like medicine. So like when you pick these rocks up, do you wash them? No, I don't want to wash them. That would wash away the earthy taste of them. I mean, think about road wash and stuff off of cars and that's, that's disgusting. I'm thinking if there's any type of car fluid on the rocks, I would actually be able to taste it. All the pieces I've collected, all I taste is earth and nature. I don't taste anything else on them. But like... Don't you worry about what that's doing to the inside of your stomach and what it might eventually lead to? Maybe, but I don't think it's gonna hurt me. 
that rock is like a knife going through your stomach. That really bothers me. That scares me for you. It's a very frustrating behavior for me to be around. I'm telling her that this is not good for you and I don't feel like she always takes that seriously. I think you need help for this. I don't think it's something you should be doing. I think it's hurting you. I appreciate that, but for right now, I'm gonna keep on crunching. I'm like not at the point of quitting. It makes me feel better and I just don't wanna stop. Teresa has been eating rocks for the past 20 years. I've tasted dirt, cigarette ashes, doggy treats, but nothing tastes the same to me as the actual rock. Her addiction has gotten so bad, she can't go a single day without consuming rocks. Teresa's children are scared her addiction is harming her and want to convince her to get help. I'm afraid that my mom won't be around in our future if she continues eating the rocks. How do you know if you're chewing on your rock or it's not your tooth or something? I know it's not my tooth because I would feel my tooth if it comes out. Oh, and it wouldn't taste the same either. I'm afraid you might choke on it. I'm not going to let myself choke. What happens if a rock goes down and cuts your intestines and you bleed internally? You could die from that. If they catch it in time, I'm sure it would be fine. And if they don't? It just really bothers me because I've already lost my dad three years ago, and if you continue eating rocks, I'm afraid I might lose you. It doesn't even seem like you listen to what we tell you. I listen to what y'all tell me. But you don't care. No, I care. Me and my mom are very close. I would be broken if something ever did happen. I really think you need to quit. Why do you think so? Because it's not healthy for you. It could really hurt you. And I think you should get a doctor's opinion, and you should think twice about it. I'm listening to what y'all say right now. I'm taking it all to heart. Guess I'll listen to what the doctor has to say. The kid's opinion matters to me. They lost their dad. I know that I need to be here, and if they tell me I need to do something, then I'm gonna try to do it. 44-year-old Teresa is addicted to eating rocks. Her family and friends have confronted her about her addiction and want her to see a doctor. Teresa agreed, but doesn't think she's ready to quit. My main fear is that the doctor might say, stop eating the rocks. I'm not really looking forward to her saying that. You're experiencing some stomach discomfort, correct? Just pain, just pain in general. Just pain? Yeah. It doesn't really bother me that much, so. Pain doesn't bother you? No, ma'am. <laughs> uh, that's an unusual response. Are you aware of what eating rocks may do to you? Not really, no. OK, you take these, which mm -hmm. are your little pieces, OK, that you ground up when you swallow them and you run them through your system. You get them down to an area where they can accumulate. They don't necessarily stay small. They can form concrete. And now they get to be this big, mm -hmm. and then they get to be this big. That could cause your death. I've thought that all the rocks have passed, but just knowing how they stick together and can form into concrete, that does worry me. So are you ready to do anything different? even consider anything I'm different? considering it, yes. The biggest problem with an addict is that they personally have to want to change. You can write a prescription and say, take this, and they can get improvement. However, if they don't want to, they won't. We can only do so much for you in medicine before you do have to help yourself. The decision is yours. I think my children are going to be very happy that I actually came to see the doctor. I do want to stop eating the rocks. I'm not sure if it's going to be an overnight process, but I'm going to quit.